Hey everyone, got a uh, Bible comparison for you guys today. Um, I have yet to review either of these, and the, I'll do individual reviews of both of them. They'll be very similar. It's the same Bible with different covers. But I wanted to um, do this comparison uh, to show you the differences between the covers on the new wide margin cameo from Church Bible Publishers. And uh, I'm also going to show you some other wide margins to give you a reference on size. Uh, so this, these Bibles were provided by Church Bible Publishers. And, uh, and it's a great ministry. Check it out. They produce Bibles at cost. And, and their Bibles are very, very affordable. These editions are $65 a piece. And they're on pre-order right now with Church Bible Publishers. So uh, be sure to check them out. Uh, if you're in the market for a wide margin King James version, this is a much smaller, more compact wide margin. It's just a, a great uh, kind of all-in-one. You know, most wide margins are pretty big, not very uh, portable. This would be a portable wide margin edition. So, uh, and I'll show you the comparison as well. So, all right, now, so the the two covers available in this uh, edition are the iron calf skin and the top grain cowhide. You can see this really rustic look of this top grain cowhide. I love the top grain cowhide. Really well um, well received. It has a great feel in the hand. It's not slick. Uh, it feels more rustic. The uh, the iron calfskin is is your more traditional uh, calfskin Bible from uh, Church Bible Publishers. It's a really great feel as well. More fluid cover. The liner on the iron calfskin edition is is a different type synthetic, and it's a little thinner, so the cover's more floppy. The uh, the liner in the Top grain cowhide is a is a denser, uh, thicker material, a little more grainy synthetic material. It's a little stiffer of a binding. So you have something for everybody. You have the floppy uh, with the calf skin, and you have the more rigid with the uh, top grain cowhide. Now the corner work is something to be compared. The cowhide top grain cowhide uh, is not as great and there's nothing stamped on the inside cover top grain cowhide stamped on the back cover back here okay where in the uh the iron calf skin you have uh iron calf skin stamped in the front and nothing stamped in the back and the corner work is much better much better corner work on the iron calf skin edition and that might be exclusive to my editions uh, I wouldn't say that every uh, cowhide edition would look like that on the corners, but uh, if you're a corner freak uh, and you know you're out there, that might bother you. They're both perimeter stitched, however, so even with corners that look like that, it's not a big deal. Uh, for me, I don't really care. I like functionality. And practically, uh, the leather's folded over the liner. That's all that I need to know, and it's and it's stitched, so I know it's secure. Uh, usability is the same. Uh, now, this fold-over is a little larger of a fold-over, so it does kind of catch the page edges just a, a tad on the cowhide, where the uh, calfskin fold-over is a little bit smaller on the edge, so it's clear. It's It has more... Uh, room. You also have a tooled line around the perimeter on the iron calf skin, and that's not there on the cowhide. So you have something for everybody. Um, now, I want to bring in a couple of other wide margin Bibles to kind of give you a size reference and the usability reference. First is a Concord wide margin from Cambridge, okay? Uh, the Concord, I'll just use one of these. Let me use the uh, this one is the closest. All right, so uh, the Concord wide margin. The Concord is a larger edition than the Cameo. And this is a Cameo wide margin. The Concord wide margin 
is a little bit bigger of an addition. So the wide margin of the Concord is going to be a little bit bigger of a Bible. So most of the uh, most of the uh, wide margins on the market are going to be the size of this Cambridge. And you can see the uh, the Church Bible Publisher Bible is on thicker paper, so the edition's thicker. Now, granted, this is an ESV, okay? The Cambridge King James Version, uh, which has the symbol on the bottom, it's a thicker it's a thicker edition, the wide margin. So they'll be similar in, in thickness to the Church Bible Publishers edition. But you can see the size difference on the on the width and height of the block. Now when we open them up, when we open it up, the uh, area, the usable area, I'm gonna just try to get close. Psalm 36, we'll just do a apples for apples. There we go, We're close there. There's 37 and 38. So when you look at this, uh, the the wide margin cameo has an eight and a half font, really dark. The Concord wide margin has a eight font. There's a little bit smaller font, but there's a, there's a little more spacing between the lines. And this is not a verse by verse where this one is. Uh, so I know we're in the we're in the psalm, so it appears verse by verse, in which they are laid out like that, but. Uh, anyway, uh, the, the marginal room is, you have a little more outer margin on the Cambridge than on the Church Bible Publishers, but the bottom margin is about the same, and Church Bible Publishers gives you a little more top margin. So you're talking about about the same amount of marginal room for notes and a little bit bigger font. The King James, if you're a King James wide margin fan, you're going to have a much more portable uh addition if you get this church bible publishers uh wide margin cameo than if you get the uh, much more expensive uh cambridge uh concord wide margin okay so uh that's just to just to kind of show you that the text size is not going to be any actually it's a little bit bigger than the cambridge and uh and your marginal room is not that much different the the Cambridge has just got more space between the lines, so the the text area is a little bit bigger, but the text size is actually smaller. So I'd almost rather have the larger text size with being a little more cramped and giving me a little more room for notes. So uh, also a uh, another that's excellent is the uh, In Touch NASB. I know it's not a King James Bible, uh, but as far as the size reference. It's much bigger than this wide margin cameo. It's a little bit closer in size, but it's it's definitely bigger. Okay, definitely bigger. And uh, but but the thickness is about the same. And this is on 39 GSM French mill paper. This is on 37 GSM paper. So as far as the thickness, it's a decent comparison. All right, so <clears throat> that's really all I wanted to compare. I wanted to give you a size reference. Uh, also, let me bring another Bible in, or a couple more Bibles in, to, to give you a better idea of the size. This is the handy size from Church Bible Publishers. This is also given as a review copy. I've got a review of it in my video list. Uh, this is the handy size Thompson Chain Bible. Okay? And it is roughly the, the same size as... The wide margin cameo a little bit not quite as wide but it is roughly the same size kind of gives you an idea if you have a handy size or hand hand size what uh thompson chain that they're roughly the same size also the esv thin line is roughly the same size the block is uh just not as thick but they're about the same dimensions on height and width. And these are both, uh, this is an eight font and this is an eight and a half font. So uh, they'll be similar in readability uh, to each other. So kind of give you an idea. There's just more spacing between the lines 
than than there is on the Cameo wide margin. So anyway, that's uh, that's about all I really have to to show you as a comparison. Uh, so we compared the two covers, the two available covers, and hopefully this will come out because I think this will be a very popular edition. Uh, hopefully this will come out in a red, and uh, and I mean it's be really nice. But uh, they both come with uh, two red ribbons. The blocks are the same. Uh, so we compared the covers and we showed you the comparison with the Cambridge uh, Concord wide margin and the In Touch wide margin from 2002. So uh, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, I will be posting individual reviews of both of these. So just keep an, keep an eye out for those. But I wanted to go ahead and do the comparison between the two so that you can kind of see... Uh, you can kind of see the differences and pros and cons for for uh, both of the different binding types. All right, thank you guys for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, be eligible for a giveaway Bible, and uh, check out Everything Bibles on Facebook, the Facebook group, so uh, check that out, and God bless.